All right. So welcome everyone to today's fall annual general meeting for the Computer Science Society. Woo indeed. <laughs> um, my name is Jeremy and I'm the president of the Computer Science Society for this year. And I am thrilled to introduce this to you all today. So just to give a quick rundown of what we're going to go over today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what the Computer Science Society is, how you can get involved. Uh, we're going to give an overview of the last year, you know, talk about what it was like, what we did, could do better, and then how this next upcoming year will look different and what our plans are for that. Then we'll go into some more specific reports. So finances, communications, student affairs, uh, development, careers, events, all that good stuff. And uh, after that, we'll have a vote on a constitutional amendment, which will change a couple things about how we run as a society. So without further ado, so what exactly is the Computer Science Society? I'm hoping you have some idea if you're present here. Um, but basically, we are a group of elected students, the keyword being elected there, uh, and we represent all undergrad students in enrolled in computer science at the University of Windsor. So our aim is to improve the university experience for all CS students. And we do this by hosting events, workshops, uh, coding challenges, resume critiques, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, and we also have things like our Discord server, which has over 1,600 students and alumni. Uh, and it's a student-only Discord server. And uh, our goal, of course, is to help build a welcoming and supportive society. So you may be interested or wondering how you can actually get involved in the Computer Science Society. Well, I mentioned before that our positions are elected. So, you know, we have our elections every spring for our uh, main positions. But we also have our first year representative elections going on right now. So you may notice people... Uh, posting stuff in the Discord server, or there's probably going to be some posters uh, being hung up in the Java Lounge relatively soon. Um, but, you know, if you aren't someone who gets elected or you're not interested in the elected positions, there's also additional ways you can get involved. Um, we have a ton of different open source projects that we work on. Most notably is our student wiki, which is a guide uh, on basically all things CS at U Windsor, and you can contribute to that. You can contribute to our Discord bot or to uh, our website. And another thing is, if you're an active member of our Discord server, you may be invited to be a moderator, which is another way you can get involved. So I mentioned it a little bit in the last slide, but I'll mention it again. We have our student wiki here. Um, it's grown a lot over the past couple months, and it'll, you know, help you answer some questions like, what courses should I pick? How can I get a co-op or an internship? Or what are some technical resources to get started on this project I'm thinking, right? Stuff like that. So if you scan the QR code or go to css.uwindsor.ca slash wiki, you will be redirected to our lovely student wiki. And I mentioned it before, so I'm not, you know, going to go too much into detail. But again, we have our Discord server, lots of great stuff on there. Um, highly recommended that all CS students join our Discord server. So now I'm just going to go into a, a quick overview of like, you know, what we did last year and what it kind of looked like. So as we all know, COVID-19 started to calm down at the beginning of last year. So we were finally able to bring back in-person events, which was lovely. But of course, as our classes were mostly still online, we continue to focus on developing our online resources and uh, online workshops, stuff like our Discord server, our Wiki, things like that. Um, and due to CS games once again being canceled last year, we had additional funds to support additional events or additional care packages, things like that. So, and that's another reason why we ran on a little bit of a surplus last year uh, financially. 
Uh, yeah, and I mentioned it before, we had tons of events last year, lots of workshops. Uh, we brought back some really uh, popular uh, in-person events such as the movie night in Sky Zone. We tried some new stuff like a game night at M Chapters, which was also very successful. Uh, we had bowling, which was really great. And then some other stuff like a coding competition, uh, internships and careers presentation, which we host every year. And uh, Wikipedia races is another example of a fun online event that we hosted. So that's last year. Um, where exactly does that bring us for this year, right? What is this year gonna look like? Well, wow, that's a lot of text, but uh, you know, now that we're fully back in person, our main objective is to offer and support as much in-person activity as possible. So, I mean, I think we're all kind of sick of Zoom events at this point, you know, they were fun when it started, but, you know, it's nice to get back to in-person, uh, actually seeing people face to face. Um, so yeah, that's why we're doubling down on our in-person events this year. We've already had a bunch, which I'm sure Usman will get into later in his presentation. Um, but yeah, we've had a lot of different in-person events and we also plan on improving the student experience for life physically on campus. The most recent development of that, of course, is us getting a microwave for the Java Lounge. So by popular demand, now if you want to heat up your food and you're on campus in Erie or Lambton, you've got a place to do that. So very lovely. Um, and again, we continue to grow our Discord server. Uh, the last point, though, is an important one. CS Games is back this year. So for those of you who are not familiar with CS Games, it's basically a uh, Canada-wide competition among universities where we send uh, usually either 10 or 20 people to go represent the university, the Department of Computer Science for us, and compete in various activities and challenges. And we, you know, we sponsor this uh, for 10 or 20 students to go every year. We haven't been able to the past few years, but this is something that is very important to us. So we're bringing it back. So because of that, you know, it will have an effect on our finances, um, which I'm sure Justin will get into a little bit, but uh, it's a really great thing to have back and for us to be able to go to Quebec and uh, have some fun and uh, represent the university a little. So, I don't anticipate any questions, but if there are any, feel free before we get into the reports. All right. So now we're gonna get into the exec and board head reports. First of which is Mr. Ryan Prairie. Hello, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hello, I'm, I'm Ryan Prairie. Uh, I'm, I'm head of technology for Computer Science Society and. Uh, yeah, this is my report for the year. Uh, all right, so um, our theme has been a uh, growth for the past year. Um, we've done a lot of different growing. Uh, so what have we done? Well, we've come out with an MVP for the wiki, a uh, minimum viable product. Um, now we're very happy with how it's been. Um, yeah, it's making good progress. Uh, we hired, we hired a bunch of people. Um, we had about 45-ish uh, applicants, and uh, we hired about a few people, and now we're a team of six. So, whew, very exciting. Um, so what are we currently working on? So the first big thing that we've been working on since last AGM was we've been rewriting the Discord box. So uh, it was written in Ruby. Now we're writing it in TypeScript. There's a bunch of reasons why, but yeah. yeah. Um, so we've been redoing our website. Currently, our, our website is written in Ruby on Rails, and that has a very uh, bad ecosystem. So it leads to being very difficult to maintain. So uh, we chose to rewrite it in Go because it makes it easier to maintain, it gives us a bunch of other very nice features like amazing vendoring support, uh, being able to create a single static binary, uh, embedding the config file in the binary, that's very nice. And uh, it's a very simple language and has a lot of nice libraries. Um, yeah, so the student wiki. So we've been working on it and we're gonna continue to work on it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, any questions? 
No? Cool. Sick. All right. Uh, yeah, very much. All right, the, the financial report now. Hello, y'all. This is, here we go. I'm Justin Borney. I'm the uh, treasurer of the Computer Science Society, and here is our financial report. So first of all, how does CSS get our finances? Well, what happens is every semester that you attend class, each student has a $20 per semester cost that goes towards Career Science Society fees. And the events and the money gets used for events, quality of life, microwave, and other student related ex expenses. So here's what we did last year. So here's what we were, we were at last year. So at last year, we had around 23,000 to start with. Now, due to us having mostly online events, and no CS games. Our account is sitting at roughly 43,000 and about five grand to $7,500 of that is used for WinHacks. It's, it's devoted to WinHacks. And how did we spend our finances last year? Well, we, well, we had first year t-shirts for Welcome Week and we did that this year too. And we had other Welcome Week events and WinHacks 22 we ran. Now, for that, we we mostly use like sponsorship money. We didn't really use a lot of, we didn't really use any student fees. And we had some in-person events, like we had a movie night and bowling night, and also a subsidization, subsidization of sweater sales. And we also financed several small online events throughout the year too, workshops and other small competitions. For this year, here's what we plan. We, we plan like what Jeremy said at the beginning, most of our events are going to be in person now, which I think I, I think we're all excited for because we're all in person for our classes anyway. And Welcome Week, already done. We did a lot for Welcome Week, and I'm proud of our events team for setting everything up. Also, our first year t-shirts and WinHacks 2023, as well as CS Games is back. So the CS Games usually takes a pretty substantial chunk of our finances because you have to fund the airplane tickets, you have to fund the hotels and the hotel rooms and other stuff. So that's usually a large chunk. And that's, that explains a, why we had such a big increase in funds last over last year. Also, again, subsidization of sweater sales and the computer science society related small clubs fund, which is basically if you're a small club with any computer science main focus, then the Computer Science Society can help provide funding. That amount depends on whatever the size of, of your group is and the resources needed. And if you're a small club and you're interested, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can reach out to me through email or on Discord or the CSS email too. Anyone have any questions? I see nothing online. I see no hands up in person. So I believe that is all. Testing. Okay. <laughs> Make sure. Okay. Hi everyone. So I am Shardio and I am your head of comms for this year. I added commerce because why not? Okay, so who are we? <laughs> we are the people who get you the news and give you the drip. So, moving on. <laughs> we need a bit of comedy, relax. Okay, so what have we done so far? Many things, but this year, keep your eyes peeled for the premiere of our new branding on Instagram and say hello to our newest member, Chip. So this has been in works for some time and Chip will be our new mascot for CSS. Great reception. <laughs> so what's the lore of Chip? <laughs> That's nice. What's the lore of Chip? Chip is an unfortunate second year soul who got caught in sin's grasp 
grasp and uh, has not been able to pass 2310. Um, some of you passed, luckily, and some of you have to take that. Uh, so you'll see Chip in your class. Nice. <laughs> Commerce updates. <laughs> so last year we had two merch drops, the winter one where we sold all those colorful hoodies you see people wearing, and the spring one where we sold a bunch of maroon hoodies. Um, by popular demand, we will have another merch drop soon, um, and uh, you can get more hoodies. So that's always a win. Uh, we've started merch sales again in the CSS office, which is in Lambton, 2100. Um, if you want to get some maroon hoodies, make sure to pull up. Uh, we'll be there Monday and Tuesday, 3 to 5. Any question? Go ahead. The song is in productions. We're looking for some record labels. <laughs> okay, perfect. Perhaps you may see one or two um, in the area. <laughs> That's also in works. Yeah, great. Super fair. Man. I love affairs. Uh, so my name is Ben Chittle. I'm the head of student affairs. So I'm involved in everyone's affairs, as everyone knows. Um, so one thing we can talk about on CSS is that we offer a lot of student resources. So one thing is if you're ever having trouble with a prof or uh, something, you know, like a student related issue, you can come to us and we can try and help you resolve it or at least point you in the direction of the people who can help you resolve it properly. Um, so you can go to me, of course, or you can go to um, a senior representative, that's Zach. You can go to your second year representative, which is Nico, and I just went over that. And again, this is for maybe you have an issue with a professor, maybe you have an issue with a class, anything like that, we can try and help you. Um, we also have resources for career development. So if you're trying to prepare for an interview or maybe you wanna update your resume, you can talk to our wonderful career advisor, Mr. Zing Raza, and uh, you can reach out to him on Discord, on the Discord server or on email. He also runs our amazing podcast, The Commit Message, which is on our YouTube channel, U Windsor Computer Science Society. You can click that or scan that QR code there. I would definitely check that out. That's one of the best resources we have for actual career advice that you can access all the time. Um, of course, we have the CSS Discord if we haven't promoted that enough already. And something in the works this year is the exam archive, which is something I promised when I was running for head of student affairs. Um, we're starting to collect exams this year. I actually just added the first two for computer networks about half hour ago. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll be collecting a bunch more midterms for like first year classes, second year classes uh, in the coming weeks and maybe some finals for classes that are being run now and hopefully it'll just get bigger and bigger. The link for this will be promoted on the Discord eventually once we actually have a few more exams in there um, and it'll be put everywhere and everyone will have access to it. Any questions about that? Seeing none. All right. Zane does have a presentation. Oh my God. Are you okay? Don't listen to conspiracy. This is the only shit that matters. <laughs> All right. After that slander, let's go ahead with the career and internship report. As you know, I'm the most productive bar none of CSS. Uh, that's some stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's the first time I've been, re I've read this in a while, so. All right, so, fourth year student. Uh, yep. Did an internship in the summer. Host of TCM, pretty important that we just hit 100 subs, or like a month ago. As of writing this, very long ago. Uh. We don't talk about the third 
third point. And then everyone's favorite career advisor. Right. So career development, what I loved. Okay. So there are multiple ways to develop your profile while studying here at U Windsor. Uh, I'm giving you miniature career advice here. Uh, this is basically what I do on an ongoing basis. But if you need tips right now, uh, this is all that's available at the university. You have TA, research, co-ops, and internships. <sighs> CSS also has many resources. Uh, some have been mentioned before, but you know, once again, plugging the Discord here. Uh, there's guides, workshops, events, and many more, one of which I've, I just did a couple weeks ago. We provide resume, LinkedIn profile, and cover letter reviews. Uh, and you can start that by messaging me on Discord. It's actually a little known fact. Not many people message me for this. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, and you should definitely wink, wink. No, I mean, email me. Uh, right. So anyways, DM me with any questions you got. Uh, what's new? Uh, once again, uh, that's not a word I can say here. Uh, TCM is here, and it's very good. Uh, Bi-weekly podcast, which is only semi-capped, where I talk with rotating guests about their careers. It's actually not too bad uh, when I do upload. Uh, it's Ben's fault if I don't. Uh, new presentation to motivate first or second years. Uh, that was Thursday very long ago, since AGM has been delayed. If uh, you want to see the slides, it's pinned in careers chat in Discord. So uh, I'd recommend you go there. Uh, Lead Code Thursdays was planned for after reading week. I kind of forgot it existed after reading week. Once again, best member of CSS. Of course, you can always schedule a private resume review with me. But you know what? Just message me. All right, there you go. What's up? I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, hanging it off with the inferior. Oh, damn. Okay, so events team. Um, introduction, I guess. So I'm in, I'm Usman Faruqi, the head of events. Um, I'm in my fourth year of CS. Um, I'm currently a TA for COP3220 as well, and uh, completed an eight-month co-op at Net and Technologies as a firmware engineer. So I am now in my last, what, second last semester, third last, something like that. Um, so here's the team. We have Eva Mudgal, Nick, Julia, Shubham, Moseb. Um, Unfortunately, none of them could make it here today. Um, two of them are writing midterms, and two of them had uh, other places to be. Oh, this Shubham. Shubham. Sorry, Shubham. <laughs> um, so I'll just do a brief introduction. Um, I think Shubham and Eva are the only ones that are fourth years. Oh, Julia is too. And then Nick and Museb are both third years. They have a midterm right now going on. That's why they're not here. But uh, pretty good team. They're your event coordinators. If you have any event related questions that I cannot answer or I'm busy, you can always go to them. And they also help when uh, we're setting up events. So what have we done so far? Well, we have had a couple of events. Um, we started off with movie night. This was our first semi in-person, I guess, sort of. In it was in-person, but we had our restrictions still there. Like I think we were allowed only 50 people or something like that. And we had to social distance. So we had, um, like, as you can see there, we had two or six meters, six feet between each uh, chair. And we had a nice uh, projector up on there where we played a movie. It wasn't a bad event. It was our first uh, in-person event, went pretty well. Then we had a in-person event after restrictions opened up completely. This was M chapters. Um, this event was actually really well, ran really well as well. We had a good amount of turnout. A um, bunch of people came, played board games. We ended up calling the place and got a quote um, where they gave us food, they gave us drinks, and they let us play um, all the board games that they had. So this was a very nice event. We also had Sky Zone. We brought it back. So Sky Zone was something that we had done 
previous in the previous years too, and we did it again this year. It's pretty fun. A bunch of people came out for this one too. Then we had a short event, um, which was CSS Fireworks. So this was basically just a group of us went off to some place in Leamington. I have no idea where this place was. I was just told directions by Nico. So went to this place and we bought a bunch of fireworks and we just blew them all up. And it was pretty nice. It was fun. <laughs> all right, Jade, you weren't complaining, bro. As you can see, Zade's just laid down in that picture right there. He was not complaining about those mosquitoes. So we also had our welcome week. So this year we had a bunch of stuff in welcome week. We had our VGDC workshop, which was a collab event with VGDC, another club at the University of Windsor. Then we had our own scavenger hunt, which went very nice. Uh, it was just a bunch of places you had to go, take a picture, um, post it in the CSS Discord. We had our CSS booth, which will you'll, you'll see some pictures after this, um, which was basically run by the university. We just had our entire booth. We had people come up, ask questions, gave them some candy. Um, they joined the Discord via a QR code. We had our egg drop challenge. This was basically just, do you come, you're given a bunch of scrap pieces of paper, given some tools, and you try to build something that will potentially prevent an egg from cracking. And then we dropped the egg from a, I think it was about a uh, six meter or something like that. I don't know how, how tall the ladder was, but it was a quite tall ladder. Then we had our first year boot camp, which was just a info session for first years to learn about what CSS is. It's kind of like AGM, but tinier, much smaller. We had our CSS barbecue where we basically, we just had a bunch of people come out and we gave away burgers. Um, they made their own burger and we actually were the ones that grilled the burgers too. We bought everything, grilled it, did it all ourselves. We had our Minecraft build competition. We did this last year too. It was a big hit. So we did it again this year. Um, it was online. People joined our Minecraft server, which should be up. It might not be yet because we still have some additions we want to add before we roll it out. But once it is, it'll be a server that's going to be running 24 seven. So you're free, you're free to join whenever you want. Do whatever you want on there as long as it's you know appropriate and you know you're not making anyone else mad. You're not basically doing something that Zane would do. Um, we had our board game meet and greet. This was actually an event that we just wanted to be on a Friday night, and it ended up being a very big hit event. And we are also bringing it back again this Friday, so tune in for that. So you can see some pictures here for from our welcome week. We have our barbecue, Minecraft. This was actually our hub. We had Julia make this hub. Um, we have our egg drop challenge where we have Tidy Zade right there. We had movie night. We brought this back as well. So this was basically, we booked, um, I think, I forgot the room number, but it's downstairs in Erie Hall. We booked that room out brought over minions and we brought the meme with minions as well. So everybody was required to, well, not required, but you were given the option to come in and dress up in a suit, looking fancy, watch the minions movie. We bought a bunch of popcorn, handed the popcorn out with candies, went really nice, went really well. Um, then we decorated the CSS, the Java lounge with Halloween stuff. So this was during our Halloween party, which was last Friday. Friday, yes. Yes, it was during Friday. Had a bunch of people come out for that. We even had a co costume um, party, a costume contest where we just had people walk down the Java lounge with music playing in their costumes. And then we voted the top three, which I still have to send out prizes for. So I will be doing that soon, but pardon? Um, it was, you'll see it here, the people, the mat people that are in the mat the Caroline costume. And I don't know if I put the last people in there, but yeah, they're, they're far in the back, the pirate people, they're back there, right there. Yeah, their costumes are pretty nice. <clears throat> so plans for the future. So as of right now, we have a game night that's coming up this Friday. So you can come out, play a bunch of board games. There'll be pizza, much more pizza now because last time we didn't really know how many people were gonna show up. We were surprised by the good amount of turn up. So we didn't get that much pizza, but this time we're expecting a big amount. So we'll definitely be buying more pizza, of course. And uh, you can come out, meet some friends, play some games, whatever you want to do. There'll be Switch there. There'll be Mario Karts. There'll be Super Smash Bros. 
Um, I'll see if I can even bring in my PlayStation, but so yeah, there'll be that. Then we have laser tag, which is planned and CSS bowling. We did CSS bowling before too. I couldn't get any pictures for that sadly because one of my drives died and I lost all my pictures. So uh, yeah, that's that. But that was a very good event too, where we just went to Super Bowl lanes, booked that out and just had a bunch of people come. You went into your own, you made your own team, you played and you bowled, got some pizza on that day too. So that was nice. We we're bringing that back. Laser tag is something, I don't know. I don't think we've done it before. I may be wrong, but I don't, yeah, we've never done laser tag before. So this is actually a new event that we'll be doing. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully good. And that's what we have planned for fall 2022. Um, in terms of events, um, we have a good team. If you ever have any ideas that you want to do, you are free to message us. You are free to reach out to us and say, Hey man, you know, I think this would be a good idea. We will definitely put you as the lead for, or not really, but we'll, we'll put your name there to know that, you know, this was your idea that you came up with this idea and obviously you'll get recognition and we will set it up for you. And even if you're part of a different club, or if you know someone that's part of a different club, we've had people like movie night, for example, was with Jack.org. Um, one of our people, Ben's um, girlfriend reached out to us and she was like, Hey man, you know, I want to do this collab event and we helped set them up. We helped to do a collab event with them and it was a big hit. So if you ever have anybody that's from a different club or if you want an event that you want to try out, don't hesitate, reach out, let us know. Any of the event team members, even if it's any CSS member, it will end up coming down to us anyways. So any questions in terms of that? I don't think so. What do you want? CSS what? Skate and oh, oh, sure. Oh we do it in the winter. First time on WCCC, yes, okay. That's how I know it is. <laughs> Hi, Cole. <laughs> Climbing <laughs> night? <laughs> I think we'll have to fill out a lot of health and safety forms for that one, but yeah. Hello, Connor. Yeah, Putin night is definitely in the works as well. We have it down. We have a meeting for that. So we will discuss that too. But Sky Zone is another thing that we will be bringing back. I forgot to list it here. But if that's anything, everything, then uh, I think we just have a bunch of important links. We have our CSS. Jeremy, if you want to come up and do the rest of this or I can do it, it doesn't matter. I'll hand it off to Jeremy. Thank you, Zane. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, here's some important links. You know, again, we've got our website, our LinkedIn, we've got Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We actually don't have our YouTube listed here, which is strange because we have a lot of stuff on our YouTube, but you can look us up and you'll find us. Um, and we already have that. So I'm going to defer this to Connor now to uh, before he comes up here take a head count to see how many people we actually have. Um, I'm just gonna not do a roll call and just rely on, on that one US Senate rule that says that you assume quorum exists unless you, don't, unless you do a roll call. Well, luckily for you, there are 10 people online. 23. So we've got 23 people, which means we're able to vote on our constitutional amendment. Um, so I'm just going to show this here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I know it's bad. Anywho, basically, we have a three amendment. PR here to our constitution, which basically says the following. First, when we remove a CSS board member, um, it's 
optional and it allows it so that if you're a CSS member who's removed, uh, you're allowed to have the minutes of the meeting that took place to remove you published so that other people could see the minutes of that meeting. The second would be um, appeal of a removal order to the board, which basically means, if I remember correctly, um, general members can, or wait, no, maybe Connor should explain it. Yeah, I forget what that I one's about. So for the, in simple terms. Yeah. Cole's so notes. People can hear me. Yes. So for the appeal appeal removal order. So when a board member is removed by the executive, if that member can ask the whole board of CSS, so all 20, 22, 20 something members of the CSS board or to review that and decide whether it was actually warranted to remove. And they have some options, including just straight up, up canceling it out and removing it from existence and just reinstating the member. Or, and they could also just set, just affirm it and say, yeah, this was fine. And the third one is, is a, a completely new path to remove board and executive members. So now the board of CSS, again, those 20 something elected members, hers, hers can remove any of the three executives. So that is currently Jeremy as president, Justin as treasurer, and Layla as a vice president and at a regular meeting. So CSS regularly conducts business. They could do that then. Or the general membership can remove an executive or board member at a general meeting like this right here. here. I think that's a good overview of it, Connor. Yeah. Um, so at this point, uh, we've already released the specific diction of the amendment, so we don't need to actually read it in full. Everyone's had access to it to review it. What we're now going to do is have a vote to um, approve or disapprove of these amendments. First, we're going to have a vote to approve all three of them at once, just to make it quicker if everyone does approve of it. And if that fails, we'll have a vote for each individual one. Okay. So for everyone that's joining us online, when, uh, when I say the magic words, whatever, just type in the chat. Um, I approve or I disapprove, or I, well, I, I forget what the term is, abstain. That's a Connor question. Well, I think... How about we take a how about we take a vote right now? So a show of hands, who approves of the omnibus? So I'm seeing unanimous here, and I'm not seeing anything online. I see Julia approving, and I see Anika approving, and I'm not seeing other people approving. Does anyone not approve? How about that? Because if people are not paying attention or whatever, right, then obviously we don't want that to count. So let's see. Oh, wait, everyone did approve. They just typed it in chat and I didn't see it. So yeah, it actually doesn't matter. So it is approved. It will be merged. Congratulations. Yay. All right. And that's everything on my end. So does anyone have any questions, comments, concerns before we finish this up? I'm not hearing anything. So thank you everyone for joining us. Um,
I will see you all at the next general meeting in January.